You've probably seen people doing the wave at sporting events. It's a fun little pastime where large groups of people all stand up and then sit down in succession, like at the proper time so that from a distance it looks like a wave. Well, scientists have uncovered that some fish do this as well, but for them it's not just a fun way to pass the time while they're bored between innings. For sulfur mollies, it is a matter of life or death. Sulfur mollies are small freshwater fish found living in sulfur springs in a particular region of Mexico, hence their name. The springs there have high concentrations of hydrogen sulfide, which gives off that characteristic sulfur smell. Hydrogen sulfide also reacts with oxygen in the water, lowering the amount of oxygen available for the fish to breathe. As a result, these little fish spend a lot of their time hanging out at the water's surface to get enough oxygen. And there are often a lot of these fish in one location, as many as 4,000 fish per square meter. Unfortunately, hanging out in a large group close to the surface means that they are vulnerable to attack by hungry creatures, like predatory birds. But these little fish have evolved a peculiar behavior the ability to do the wave, which helps them avoid becoming dinner. German researchers have observed that an attack, or sometimes even just the approach of a predator, is enough for the sulfur mollies to start doing the repeated waves in the water. It all starts with the fish closest to the predator diving down vertically into the water and splashing the surface with their tail. Then the fish closest to that one mimics the behavior, and so on, forming a big splash at the surface that travels away from the predator in a wave-like motion. Researchers think this running wave on the surface confuses the predator because it looks as though the wave is moving away, while the fish themselves are actually just moving vertically down into the water. The fish could repeat this behavior over and over again, with one wave occurring every three to four seconds for up to two minutes at a time. And the researchers have observed that these waves are pretty effective. Whenever they did the wave, it doubled the time that the birds waited to attack. And scientists also saw birds change changing locations, suggesting they might have decided to attack something else. So doing the wave definitely keeps these little ones alive longer, and who knows, maybe it'll also give the edge to your favorite sports team in their next sports game. Thanks for watching this episode of SciShow. We have made thousands of educational videos over the years, and we've been able to offer them for free because of our patrons on Patreon. So to all of our patrons, thank you for what you do to make SciShow happen. And if you're not a patron and you want to learn more about what that means, you can go to patreon.com slash scishow.